Okay, so this is what I've done in the game so far, like since last time. So last time you guys saw it, I was, wow. Um, I think I, I can show you guys what it looked like so you guys can get a comparison. So it was, yeah, the, I was making the inside of a building. Why is it so low quality? So I was working on the inside and I was blocking out basically what the house was going to look like on the inside. DP door two. So yeah, it was just basically DP door two is this. Do I show anything? Yeah, I made a, f a freezer. But I was struggling to make it work. Where do you even get? But yeah, it's just the inside of the house is just blocks basically. Uh, so like yeah, there's no actual furniture and stuff. There's an outside which looks like um this. Uh, as you can see, but I had like wooden footsteps. This, the sounds are, this is what I've done so far. Every time I show someone something bad happens. <laughs> so like, we'll see. So I've got the, the title screen. And I don't have sounds for this yet, but I do have a, an options menu, which is, this was really hard to make. <laughs> um, and then we have. A cutscene. Oh my god. The sounds aren't. I need to adjust the audio of the cutscenes so it's more in time. And then, here I am. There's a camera shake that you can disable if you don't like it. Oh, dude, I just did that, didn't I? I meant to press pause. Oh, I'm going to have to watch the cutscene again, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have a... Wait, I have a skip button. Is it enter? I swear, I put a button to skip it. Is it not... Is it not working anymore? Oops. I swear I made... Okay. Is this single clear? Yeah. Anyways, there you go. <laughs> you can disable the head bob if you don't like it. There's sound effects as well. For the footsteps. And plants. There's some songs that I have to change that are not they're co not copyright free for games. I used everything from Epidemic Sound. It takes a long, a long time to load this level for some reason. There we go. So this is the inside since last time. That needs to be rebuilt. Fine. Oh, we need to add the car outside. Um, this is the inside. And I have a couch that you can sit on. We have a lamp. Get a fridge. I stole that glass shader online. I just followed the tutorial for that one. Um... All right, we need to move that TV. I'm mean, putting move the TV because I wanted the, the lamp next to it, but I was like, eh, never mind. I put it here instead. Uh, and then these uh, cabinets are from a friend, Trinity. And then this is Joey's fridge. The guy I just played with, this is his fridge. <laughs> I just used the texture for it. Um, then we have a bed. And yeah, this is what I've been working on. Uh, just learning. There's a lot of learning, man. Like, I did the whole room and stuff, and I was like, okay, so now we need to figure out how to look outside, and this is, like, this level is not the same as the first level. Like, it's all, like, duplicated, which is which was a pain in the ass, because the inside is actually bigger than from the outside, <laughs> so it's a full new level. Um, you just figure out technicalities of, like, oh, let's say there's a chase scene, how's that going to work if you can't go inside, like, a, like part of me is like, maybe I should have just done it, so it's, like... Fully like, oh, you just open the door and you can go in and out. But I don't know how to make that work properly. 
we'll see. I'm just having fun with it for now. Learning how to do, like, small things seem so easy, like sitting on a couch. But, man, like, if you look at the blueprint for that, if you, even if you don't understand blueprints, like, so this is what I thought you had to do to sit on the couch, right? But then it ends up being this. Like, it's crazy. So, um... But as you can see, like, that's what it looks like on the outside here. Like, if you look out, it's like... <laughs> it's like to scale the world to so that when you look outside, it looks normal. Because the house is actually bigger. Um... But yeah. That's what I've done so far. I've actually also added, a. Uh, like wind to the trees, I don't know if you can see. So like there's more life. Cause I, I, I noticed that when I was gonna do the um the menu. Like I did a menu and then I realized like everything was static. I was like, well, this this just looks like a picture. Something something needs to move. So I was like, maybe I add some sway to the textures and now there's like movement, which is nice. What is what will become? My game. It's, it's, Code spaghetti, yeah, I know it's fucking crazy, man. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of stuff I didn't expect would take so 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 much work. Um, but we're getting there. Just having fun with it. Me and my quaver plug in stove or something to make kitchen food. I was thinking it would be nice to have like a little mini game for food. Like uh, you know, I'm going to remember much about the vibe of um just to learn really is um fears to fathom. You know how like you go inside a house and you make some food, and then something happens. You know like. You do a bit of mundane tasks. I think it's good to like, it would be good for me to like learn how to do these little things here. It'd be a horror, like with a pretty light story. By light, I mean like it's not very deep, you know. What's the hardest yet to work on the game yet? The hardest thing, honestly, which is ridiculous, was like the trees have to be, um, they, you can't co 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 copy paste tr uh, foliage instance. So right now the foliage is inside a level that I import. So now it's just its own level. Like if you look at levels here, um, yeah. So there's one that's called foliage. But if I try to like change something, like let's say I'm like, oh, I kind of want to plant there. I have to go into the level and then it's fully dark. <laughs> so do you see what I mean? So I'm like, well, I need to put a light, but to put a light, you need a ground. So I have to put a light, a ground, a fucking like sun and stuff like that. Just to be able to add a couple of things because I can't see shit. It's really annoying. Yeah, if you guys want to do it in Discord, exclamation point Discord. Type it in chat and it'll pop up as a command. Yeah, that one's that was really annoying having to go, like copy basically like a level without copying because it's the, all the, the the size is different. So like if you go over there, like I'm pretty sure the trees like here, like yeah, they don't match. It's just so that when you look out the window, it looks it looks right, you know. Sorry about the dog barking outside. Jesus Christ. Yeah, very laborious. Um, that was the most annoying part. I had a bunch of issues as well where like I moved things back. Like I tried to create a world partition and it moved everything somewhere. So like there's like an atmosphere in this. It's like a where is it? It's somewhere here. And it, everything looked wrong, and it turns out everything was, like, sent 20,000 pixels down. Like, I had to move everything back. Like, I had to rebuild everything, which was a, a pain in the ass. Um, but I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. I just need to change a lot of the sounds, unfortunately, because, like, let's say I want to sell my game for, like, two bucks or something, if I even, even choose to. It would, like, I don't want it to get copyrighted. Or if people, like, stream it or, like... Let's say like Teal's like, oh, let's play Flash's game. I don't want him to get copyrighted. You know, there's just stuff like that. So I'm going to have to change a lot of the sounds. And the thing is, all the sounds are manually bit crushed. So like here, uh, the audio. Like all these. Uh, ooh, I'm trying to find ones that are like new. Did I change any of them? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. You know, they sound, it sounds a bit like a bit crushed. Like, it sounds like it's from an old game, you know? I, so I do that, on, like, on purpose. I have to do, for every sound effect, I do that. Um. These, I'm going to have to change these. 
But what's good is like I can just change them and like uh like for like sound cues and stuff, I can just change it, it shouldn't be too hard to change them, but yeah, there's some sounds I'm gonna have to sample myself because I can't find on those free websites. Maybe maybe some of them. I found a new website that's pretty good for free sounds. But some of them I might have to record myself. Yeah, so I, I what was what's been taking a long time too is that all of these there's not one thing in here that I didn't model myself. Um, I modeled the TV. I modeled modeled this. Modeled the couch. So this was a learning experience for sure to make these like shapes as well, like a cat, like a pillow, <laughs> like it's like a, a cloth sim with an inflation thing, like an inflation sum like modifier or whatever. Or like a physics modifier, and like you change the settings to make it inflate, and then you freeze it. Um, same thing with the the bed sheet. It's just a cloth sim. Like I made a cloth fall on it, and I froze it. Um, yeah, these are all made by me. So that took a while. <laughs> um, so same thing with the trees. Same thing with the bushes. But the trees and bushes are like, yeah, as you can see, they're pretty simple. They're like just uh, like pictures. I have a new workstation synthesizer. We'd love to try to make a scary theme or something for him like this. Yeah, that'd be cool. And I have another person that's really interested as well, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still need to figure out, like, what happens. Like, right now, you can, it's like a demo. You can walk around, <laughs> you know, and then, and then what? Uh, like, you can... Skylight's waiting on shaders for final capture. What's even happening, bro? Yeah, you can walk around. You can interact with things. But you don't, there's nothing to do. So I have to figure out, like, okay, so after the cutscene, right? Maybe in the cutscene, there's like a voice line, like a guy talking, like, oh, I'm really tired of my job. I really want to go to this Airbnb. <laughs> really cheap, but almost too good to be true. Ha ha ha. You know, something like that. Then he comes here, box, text box or something. And it's like, I should go inside. And then I go inside. And once I do, like, something happen, like, you know, you need to have these goals or something. Do you have vision for this game or ideas? Yet? No, not really like full ideas. That's why I need to like, I need to make like a sequence of like things that happen and then work on things to make. Because I, I want this guy to, um, this this creepy person, like that sell, that's renting this place out to live and be like over there in his own house that I'm going to make. But like, as you can see, I have to change the foliage and stuff. So it's like, I need to do steps and like, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, to-do list of stuff it's just a lot of work for something that's like just for fun <laughs> you know like it, it was very much a hobby for me for a few weeks and then it started becoming like work like it's really hard um so i'm fine trying to find the motivation here and there just tough you know but it's been it's been fun it's been a cool hobby for for like a, the last month <laughs> just been taking a break because it's getting hard <laughs> it's like i don't plan on selling it for like money or anything so I think that's why people say, like, oh, make a small game at first. Which I totally understand, because it's like... Otherwise, you're never going to finish your thing. Which I might not, like, which is the scary part. I don't want to do all this and never release anything. I know Yoma wanted to be the, the creepy guy. Yeah, thank you guys for checking it out. This is my game so far. It's been, it's been a lot of work. I know it doesn't look like much, but man. Mini, mini map. Mini map has been he uh, fucking almost said healing because a healer. Thank you, healer, for the 69 months. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yeah, Mini's been helping me a lot. Like every time I have a few problems, I like write them down and he'll help me out with them. Um, like the couch thing, as you saw that with the couch. Like the this was what I thought from looking things online, and then he helped me come with all of this, which was crazy. I, I did add some things on my own eventually, which I'm proud of. But a lot of this was him. And he's teaching, like, he's actually trying to teach me as well, which has been helping. So, shout out to Minnie for sure.